peace and blessings to every one of you within the sound of my voice. This is Pastor Moselle from our Father's House International Ministries. And today on 9-11-2012, we are beginning a series on end time preparedness. And what we plan to do for you and your family is make sure that you're ready when disaster strikes or when you encounter the unknown. Some things that are out here that the news on channel 2579, Fox News, CNN, they're not going to broadcast exactly what is going on in these end time events that are upon our planet and the things that are plaguing our planet. Such as, for example, you have for the last year several million acres of land that have been burning perpetually for 24 hours a day. The earthquakes, the natural disasters, the wildlife that is dying, the land that is being scorched up and unable to produce food, all these things and more are things that are soon to affect everyone on the planet. Now we'd like to connect a few more dots with Luke 17, verse 26 through 30. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Now, this is some very good information. And once we connect the dots, you will begin to see how everything falls together and what is coming up on the earth. Before we get too far gone, let's go to Revelation 8, 5 through 7. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of the trees was burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. Now, if you recall from the previous scripture, it talked about in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, hail and fire and brimstone rained down from heaven. And here we see in Revelation, there will be another episode of fire and brimstone and hail raining down from heaven. As we go beyond in, in future episodes of this context, we will find out the correlation between the fire and the brimstone to hail and some of the other things that are affecting our planet right now as we speak. Because there are things that the government and the news are not going to tell you. You're going to have to have divine revelation and relationship with God that you hear these things and that you are forewarned. The scriptures say that God doesn't do anything in the earth till he first sends a messenger or a prophet to first warn his people that you may be prepared and then accounted worthy to escape all these things that will come up on the earth. Now, we will also examine that there are several books that are pertinent to understanding what's happened in the past and what's happening in the future. We will look at how history somehow or another has omitted books out of the Bible that we read today. Our King James Bible has several books that are missing. And if we go back to the original canons of the Ethiopian Bible, which is the oldest Bible out, you will discover that there are several books, the Book of Jasper, the Book of Wars, also the book of Enoch. Enoch was one of the major prophets of God, but for some reason or another, the, fo the forefathers of Christianity omitted one of those books in some of his writings. If we go to Genesis 5, 19 through 24, this scripture will explain how important and how revered Enoch was to God. Genesis 5, 19 through 24. And Jared lived after he begat Enoch, 800 years, and begat sons and daughters. 
And all the days of Jared were nine hundred sixty and two years, and he died. And Enoch lived sixty and five years, and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begot Methuselah three hundred years, and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred sixty and five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Now that's fantastic right there. That's telling you how much God revered and esteemed Enoch, that Enoch did not even taste death while he was on the earth. Matter of fact, Enoch is mentioned in the New Testament when we go to the book of Jude 14 and 15. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with tens thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Now, if the people in the New Testament who's penned this writing in the book of Jude thought that much of Enoch's words had that much weight and were of much importance, do you think it would be strange that he had no further words or knowledge or wisdom that God imparted onto him, that God took him while he was yet alive and began to show him mighty things and wondrous things and secrets that were kept from us? We will begin to examine some of these secrets and begin to shed light on some areas of the unknown, the esoteric, the paranormal, the supernatural, things that we have received a lot of misinformation on. And this is an effort of the enemy to have us bound by fear. And God said he has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. God said, I would not have you ignorant of Satan's devices. So, for us to not be ignorant of Satan's devices, we must first understand these scriptures and have them applied with 21st century understanding, 21st century vocabulary. We will begin to uncover the secrets of ancient history that will show mighty wondrous things and secrets. We hope that we have whetted your appetite that you will come back and join us again because you can't afford to miss one episode of this series because it is important for the survival of you and your family when dis disasters in the future come our way and some of these disasters are hitting our planet now when the unknown begins to reveal itself in shadows and types and mysterious forms that we be not fooled or deceived you need this knowledge for the survival of you and your family. You don't want to become a victim. You want to become an overcomer. We thank you for your time and your patience. Peace and blessings to you and your family. On behalf of myself and my wife, Pastor Adrian, and our Father's house, we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Have you ever been broken?